We are back on the saddle. Uh, this is going to be the first bike and brew again for such a long time. Um, yeah, join me. We are going to UP Diliman. And we're gonna brew some coffee there. Yeah, the biking is just a bonus. <laughs> hey, uh, to whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be alright, so push on worry. I get it. The eyes can stack back against the wall, but even consider it such, no, you'll stand firm. Sat and watch from the sidelines, one too many times. We get gas to play, make me wanna lose my mind. Found solitude, no one can Soon. Ever need a boost, count on me for the one two. Trouble don't last when the tough get going. Baby, all we do is win, so show me my opponent. Adversity, doubt, stress, we care less. Cause how we handle those like an S on our chest. Super proud of how we held it down on the way up. Can't wait for our day to ball. This is a layup. Nobody ever said this would be easy. But trust when I say that you got I know to believe. you've been looking for a breakthrough. Trying our best to make do. Every day is something. Okay. Uh -huh. We are somewhere in UP and I don't know if my audio is going to be any clear but yeah it's our first bike and roof for, for quite some time. Yeah, I didn't get to bike for maybe more than a month. It's because of a busy schedule and my best friend got into an accident so I don't really have anyone else to um, bike with. Let me just fix my table first. Right. <clears throat> and we haven't seen we haven't seen UP for quite some time. So this is really surprising. There is just a lot of people here. Right, maybe we should start um, boiling our water. So I have here um, mineralized water with aqua code. Yeah, that's what I use at home. It's aqua code. It's the first time I'm trying the aqua code uh, minerals. But what I normally use is the water with. Yeah, what I normally use is the Calibrate water. The coffee that we brought today is the Chiroso 89 from Curve Coffee Collaborators. Um, it's really my favorite these days. And we are going to weigh... I don't know, maybe 13 grams. On the Easy Presso Q Air, we are doing maybe, I don't know, 18 clicks. Yeah, I just need to zero in first before we dial in the setting. Yeah, so one rotation is 10. And then one more rotation is 20. Then we minus. So that is 18. Um, I don't know if my audio is going to be any good. Oh, let me try the... Let me try the... Noise cancellation. Hello, check. Oh, okay. We are trying the nice cancellation feature of the new mic. This is the DJI Mic 2. Um, I recently upgraded to this because, um, just because. <laughs> 
Now I'm gonna prepare the Oreo and the server that we're gonna use. Again, I'm gonna use the AeroPress cup as the server. We are using the Apex bottom for this brew so that we will be able to do a conical filter. Right, so I, we have 89. And 91. All right. Um, you know what? I'm really excited that we are going to be finally able to use a full size gooseneck kettle out here. Because I used to I used to bring a really small toolbox. So I did get to use I did get to bring a full size um, gooseneck kettle before. Um, all I used was a jet boil and the jet boil uh, pasta strainer. So uh, it's this is going to be the first time that we can we will be able to brew with a full size um, gooseneck kettle out out here. Uh, actually, I hope we we. We get to find another place like this soon because there's just too many people here. There's just too many around. And it's not peaceful anymore. We used to we used to sit here and just listen to the birds, listen to the crickets in the trees. The rustling of the leaves when the wind when the winds blow. But not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. All right, we're gonna start this brew. We are using 89 degree water on the Aurea Apex. That is our first pour. And now we're just gonna wait for 45 seconds. Then we're gonna pour um, 70 ml. This is our second pour. Okay, what I didn't realize with the Hario Bono 500 ml before that it has, I didn't realize that it has a really small spout. It has a small spout. Um, smaller than the normal Hario product. Okay, at 130, we are doing 50 more ml of water. I'm really amazed with the Aurea Apex because we are at 18 clicks now and we are not stalling at all. There's no clogging, there's no slowing down of the draw oh, of the water. Okay, we are pouring our last and final 50 ml. And our last pour, we're just gonna pour very slowly and very high to avoid the to, to avoid um, disturbing the bed. Mm, wow. Okay, we're gonna use the cover of the aero press as okay wow ah. this coffee is really crazy um it's very floral with um, wine scents and dark chocolates Wow, and it's very sweet. And I'm getting the same results as as if I brewed it at home with all of my setup. It's crazy, it's amazing. I used to compromise my brews when I'm outdoors. Yes, it tastes good. Um, it, the, the, the jet boil pours really well, but not like this. Yeah, 
I used to have like um like good coffee but not as good when I do it at home. But this right here, the setup right now, just because I brought with me a full-size gusnik kettle, it made a very significant change in the brew. Yeah, this this tastes just like home, just like how I would how I would um, do it when I brew it at home, how I would have it when I do it at home. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh, if you haven't seen my video, this is the new, this is my new bike and brew setup. So I will be, this is the first time that I brought this outside. So I am still um, discovering the quirks. Um, first, the rattling, because <laughs> when when you mount it on a bike, it's it moves with the bike, of course. So it rattles when you when you pass by some chatter on the road. So I'm gonna have to fix that, maybe put some lining in it, like like the felt lining that I did for the small toolbox. And maybe do, maybe make some dividers for it. Yeah, maybe I can do a divider for it so that so that the metal are, metals are not touching each other. Yeah, maybe I can do that. Yeah, but the, but the setup right now, it's perfect. I mean, the AeroPress Go being my carafe, look how perfect it works. This, this eats up very little space. And then I automatically have an AeroPress with me, so if ever I want to use an AeroPress with a friend who has a different coffee that needs an AeroPress, so I have it with me. And then the Aurea, Aurea V4 is just amazing. I can, I can use a conical filter and I can use a wave filter as well, like a flat bottom filter. I can bring all the bottom attachments with me but you don't really need it now i have i have an instant um v73 <laughs> yeah because the 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 angle of the aurea is 73 um, degrees and with the apex i'm using a conical filter which doesn't take which doesn't take up any space at all because it's flat yeah, because the, the thing that, that the thing that I hate about flat bottom filters is they need to be put in a special container and that takes up a lot of space. Even if you bring just one or two or just maybe five pieces when you travel, it needs to be housed inside something. It can't be folded because it's gonna lose its form. And when you do that, eh, yeah, you're not enjoying the, you're not gonna enjoy the benefits of the flat bottom filter anymore. So, Aurea by doing the apex bottom filter, um, I think Aurea V4 is becoming more and more my favorite dripper. Maybe in the next bike and brew, I'm gonna bring the Soiren. It's a it's a nice it's a nice dripper as well. It's a new dripper from Horio, which is exactly like the V60, but the ribs of the V60 is like a detachable leaf. Yeah, so you can you can disassemble it, so it wouldn't take much space. But yeah, I think that's a nice that's a nice dripper for travel as well. But right now, I'm really loving the Aurea V4 with the Apex bottom just because I can bring it and it doesn't take up that much space. The only thing that I think my mistake was bringing a 01 paper filter. So the Apex, the Apex bottom needs a 02, um, needs a 02 paper filter for it to work properly 
But what I have here is a size 01 paper filter. Maybe, um, ne next time I'm gonna, maybe next time, I, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna bring a size 02 paper filter so that, so that I can show you properly how it's done. This coffee, again, it's, it's crazy. If you haven't tried it, get one for yourself. I know it's expensive, but it's gonna blow your mind. This is the Chiroso 89 from Curve Coffee Collaborators. I think I need to order one more bag soon because this bag is about to run out. Actually, the pouring profile of the AeroPress can be used uh, for your dripper, so. Can be very slow and it has a long string. <laughs> I think better than the Zebrang Air. I really don't like that kettle at all. But yeah, in Bike and Brew, this is this is what happens in Bike and Brew. Um, I used to I used to not videotape or film this. Um, Bike and brew. Sometimes I would do a time lapse of me and my best friend doing coffee. Just put a background music on it. Just because it is simply my, um, it's simply my one form of enjoyment. Yeah, I'm gonna get a plastic bag for the trash. Again, whatever you do, don't leave your trash wherever you. If you ever do this in the future, um, don't leave your chest. This is a doggy poop bag, so it's it's a, it's it's very small. It's not gonna take up much space in your um, in your packing. Just bring it in, so that you have something for your trash. And this is biodegradable. So you can actually order this online. Just look for the biodegradable one. Wow. That is an amazing cup. Yeah, I did not I do not regret buying this at all. <laughs> Um, before I didn't want to buy it because it's it's it it just takes up too much space, and I really didn't want to. I am actually I was in denial that I didn't want to bring a full size gusnik kettle when biking, but it's funny because right now I'm so happy that I bought this. And I don't regret it at all. Yeah, I hope the AeroPress makes another um, small AeroPress go. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I, I think I want to do more bike and brew episodes again. Um, like a simple, simple episode like this. Like, I bring you with me, brew coffee. So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!